You remember those old tractor tires our parents filled with sand when we were kids? Well, this is the next best thing. Nostalgia is a good thing if its energies are directed towards the future. That's what I'm doing with this week's project in building a DIY covered sandbox. I'm also preventing a bunch of holes from being dug everywhere. My kids are worse than gophers. I've got a couple of 2x8s that I'm cutting a size for the sandbox base. But Stan, how do you know what size to cut them, you ask? Well, that's easy. I went to simplyeasydiy.com and got a complete list of cuts and materials. Made my life simple, I tell you. Check the description. I'll have all the links. I'm just using the circular saw and the combination square to make short work of all that. Once my four sides are cut to length, I use this piece of scrap to mark a line the width of my material on one of the sides. That is going to help me better keep my pilot hole centered on the adjoining board. Flip it over, do the same thing. Lay those four boards out and drive some three inch deck screws. That's one side, now the others. Simple and easy, just the way I like it. So far so good, let's build the top. I'll use some 1x4s for that. Alright, the first part of the sandbox top is too easy. Just lay the boards on top of the base frame, flush the ends. Now when you're working near the ends of boards like this, drilling pilot holes is almost a necessity so that you don't split the ends. Then drive some screws. If you want to know what I'm using and when I'm using it, head off to my website, simplyeasydiy.com. All that information is going to be over there. Measuring when you don't have to, well, that's a waste of adventure. Spacers between the boards will help me keep an even spacing without even trying. I'll do that for three of these boards because the top cover is going to be in three segments. So that's one. For the second section, I'll lay all three boards out with spacers. Then attach a couple of 2 by 2s just inside the sides of the box frame. How far inside, that doesn't really matter. Now I can just flip that over like so. Some strap hinges will connect those two sections. Time to assemble the final top section. I've taken some 2x4s and ripped those in half to make a couple of 2x2s. You don't have to do that, you can just buy 2x2s, but you probably won't get these rounded over corners like this. I want these to be facing down when I attach the slats. I'll butt those up against my spacers, then lay out the remaining slats on top of the 2x2s. The reason I wanted the rounded over corners to be facing down is so when I flip this section over and attach it to the other two, those rounded corners will be topside. Since this is a kid project and I'll be having very tiny ones playing around it, I don't want a bunch of harsh edges all over the place. Now, you could run all your pieces through the router with a roundover bit, but I figure since the profiles are already there, I'm gonna take advantage of them. Now, when I flip that over, it'll get attached to the other two sections like this. All right, so I'm gonna remove that for the time being and set that aside. Flip the second section over onto the first so that I can attach a couple more hinges. Just make sure the knuckle of the hinge is overhanging the boards like so. Now I'll fold those back on themselves. Spacers are handy dandy things. These are quarter inch, maybe a little bit thicker. About the thickness of the knuckle on the hinges is what you're gonna want. Place those so they are overhanging the back. Then set the final section on top of the spacers. Now the hinges can just be flipped up and attached. Remember I said I didn't want harsh edges? A sander with some 80 grit sandpaper makes short work of those. Now the design plans on my website are actually going to have an additional element to it that you don't see here in this video. It's a shade canopy. I have actually decided to do something slightly different and I'll showcase that in a future video. SimplyEasyDIY.com to find all that information out. Until then.